Hi, in this video, I want to show you how the TDSR Pro can help you get a very professional sounding vocal sound. Let's check it out. Here we have a drum loop and I'm going to try recording my vocal and then process it with working on it to mix it with the drum loop and use the TDSR Pro to make it sound smooth and nice. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be calling my phone. I don't really care. Got a snare, gotta fix it, yeah. Let's hear it with some EQ and reverb without the TDS or Pro on it. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be calling my phone. I don't really care. Got a snare, gotta fix it, yeah. Let's start using the TDSR Pro to make this vocal sound nice and clean and glue better with the drum loop. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be gonna fix it, yeah. First, I try to find where exactly the harshness is appearing using the frequency range slider. I start moving it and use the filter, which is below the audition section, to find out very exactly all these nasty and harsh frequencies over here. The attack and release settings in TDSR Pro work very well. However, I normally try to turn on the look ahead as well because this thing actually makes it even better, especially for the attack and capturing the transient sounds. I'm gonna try bringing down the processing knob way too much and then change the attack and release settings to find out where exactly they sound better. When you're using the processing at an intense level, it makes it easier to find out what attack and release settings work best. Let's try doing that with the look ahead on. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be calling my phone, I don't really care, got a snare, gotta fix it, yeah. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be calling my phone, I don't really care, got a snare, gotta fix it, yeah. So far, it seems like these settings are working fine. I'm going to try changing the quality, which is the oversampling, to four times to make it even sound better. Something very special about the TDSR Pro is its saturation. Normally, you wouldn't find a saturation in a DSR plugin, but in TDSR Pro, you have this special feature which helps you to make the sound warmer and smoother, giving you an option to add more character and color to the sound. There are two major ways you can use the saturation in TDSR Pro. One would be just using the slider and the other would be having the filter button right next to it clicked, which changes its color to orange. The difference is that if you only apply the saturation, the saturation will be applied to the whole frequency range of your audio from 20 to 20,000 Hertz, which makes the effect sound more noticeable. It is a great way to add noticeable character or intense color, especially for guitars. The filter makes the saturation only get applied to the frequency range that you have selected. In this case, we have the frequency range from around 5000 to 20,000 Hertz. And so when the filter is clicked, that means the saturation is only being applied to that frequency range, which helps to have a very nice and crisp high end. Now we set the saturation to 100% and have the filter button clicked so that we only apply the saturation to the high frequency range selected here. But first, let's hear again how the vocal sounds like without the TDSR Pro on it. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be calling my phone, I don't really care, got a snare, gotta fix it, yeah. Now let's hear again how it would sound like with the TDSR Pro engaged. My mix is sounding fly even in my car, flexing with a brand new plugin, yeah. She be, she be calling my phone, I don't really care, got a snare, gotta fix it, yeah.
As you can hear, it's not just the sibilances that the TDSR Pro is taking care of. It's also the harshness and any intense pops that happen to be in the vocal. My mix is sounding fly even in my car. Flexing with a brand new plug in yard. She be, she be calling my phone. I don't really care. Got a snare. Got to fix it. Yeah. In the next video, I'm going to explain more features of this plugin. I hope you find this useful. Make sure to try the TDSR Pro if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching this video.